What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a KDP niche research deep dive. So if you struggle with finding low content book niches then this video is for you. So welcome back to Stacking Profits. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video we're going to do a KDP niche research deep dive and again if you struggle finding niches then this video is for you. So really watch this video if you struggle finding low content book niches because there's literally thousands of niches now there's hundreds of low and no content book types and there's thousands of niches for these types of books now what we're going to do is take a look at some of these niches and i'll show you how to niche down these niches so that you will never run out of ideas for your books. Now, when it comes to low content book types, there's quite a few different ones out there. Here's just five. We have journals, notebooks, composition notebooks, coloring books, and activity books. With these five types alone, there's literally thousands of niches. So we have the journals, notebooks, composition notebooks, coloring books, activity books. So these are the book types, but then you need niche ideas. And when it comes to niche ideas, again, there's literally thousands of niches just within these different types alone. So we have animals, foods, sports, hobbies, careers, careers meaning job titles. So things like teachers, doctors, nurses. These are all careers. And again, there's literally thousands of niches. Now, once you understand your book type and then your niche as well, you then need to understand your demographic. Who are you creating the book for? You can do it for women, men, mum, dad, boys, girls, toddlers, teens. Again, there's literally thousands of niches just with these five book types, just with these five ideas, and just with these demographics. With all of these here, you can mix and match. Obviously, you'd have to dive deeper to see if there's actual demand over on Amazon. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm just going to show you some examples of how you can combine all of these together to find niches. Remember, first of all, you need that book type, then the niche, and then who's it for. So you could do some type of animal book, let's say a dog. We could do a dog journal for women. We could do a dog coloring book for toddlers. So that's what I mean when I say you can combine all of these. You could do careers. So that would be a teacher coloring book for women or a teacher coloring book for mum. We could do sports. So let's think of a sport, basketball. A basketball composition notebook for girls. The endless ideas here is ridiculous. There's an endless amount of niches. So let's go over to Amazon so I can just show you an example of what I mean. So here we are on Amazon. We're going to use Amazon and we're also going to use Google because remember we can use lists, lists of animals, food, sports, hobbies, careers. We can use Google to find those lists and then we can use those lists to see if there's demand for that type of book over on Amazon. So let's go back over to here. Again, we can see low content book types. This is just a small sample of different types of books out there. Journals, notebooks, composition notebooks, coloring books, activity books. I chose this, these five because literally there's thousands and thousands of niches. So let's go over to Google. Let's take one of these. We could do list of careers. In fact, if you want to know how to find 450 journal 
niche ideas for your books. I recently made a video on that, I believe, last week. And if you want to watch that video, you can click right there in the right hand corner. But let's go over to Google and let's type in list of, and let's go with, let's choose one that we don't really tend to do that much. Let's do sports or hobbies. Let's do hobbies, list of hobbies. Now I'm just going to click enter because again, remember, people have already done lots of different types of research over on Google. And then we can use that list, that niche research to actually see if there's demand. Now, right off the bat, without going on any other website, we can see lots of different hobbies. We have cooking, writing, knitting, gardening, photography, dance, painting, drawing, sewing, hiking lots of different niche ideas so let's go over to amazon let's think of what type of book that we want to create let's just go with a journal so now i'm just going to type in journal in fact let's just change this to all departments and i'm going to type in journal so now we have the book type now we need the niche idea so let's go with one of these let's take knitting so we're going to do a knitting journal. So let's type in journal. We already have that. Let's do knitting at the beginning. And now we need to know who it's for. So if we go back over to here, we have women, men, mum, dad, boys, girls, toddlers, teens. So a knitting journal for toddlers isn't really going to work. So we could do a knitting journal for women. So let's go back over to Amazon. Let's type in for. And look at that. So right off the bat, it's four beginnings. So in fact, let's change journal to notebook. And there we go. Look at that. So instead of using journal, we changed it to notebook. And now we put knitting notebook four, and then it's auto populated with women. Remember when Amazon auto populates a search term, that means that's what people are actually searching for. So for this, people are searching for a knitting notebook for women. Now, obviously I would start diving deeper in this to see if it's profitable and to see if it's worth me publishing a book within this niche. But nonetheless, this is how simple it can be when you want to find niches. Remember, we have the book type. We went with a notebook. Then we need the niche ideas. We went with a hobby, which was knitting. And then we need to know who it's for. And it was for women. So now we have the keywords, the niche research idea of creating a knitting notebook for women. And remember, if we go back over to here, all this is kind of interchangeable. There's thousands of niches for these book types. There's thousands of ideas just in animals, food, sports, hobbies, and careers. And then there's lots of different ways that you can create those book for, and lots of different people who you can actually target. So if I were to create, obviously, a knitting notebook for women, I wouldn't go and target the keywords, dad, boys, toddlers or teens because that just would not make sense now let's do another example let's take list of animals you can do lists of pets lists of popular pets as well but let's just go with animals okay so right off the bat we have a sponge no let's change this to pets so list of pets falls under animals we have cat, dog, goldfish, hamster, kitten, mouse, parrot, puppy. That's just a small portion of the amount of pets that people have. So let's go ahead and take one of these. Let's take this out. Let's do a composition notebook. So let's go back to list of pets. Let's take one, one of these. Let's go with a hamster. So a hamster composition notebook. I'm guessing there's going to be people actually searching for that. So a hamster, I spelt that wrong. There we go. Hamster composition notebook. Who's it going to be for? So right off the bat, we can see it's for kids. Do we have kids here? We have more teens, but this could be kids as well. So let's have a look for kids. So people are actually searching for this because again, Amazon has auto populated it, but you'd have to dive deeper to see if it's a book that is worth publishing for you. But right off the bat, 
we have hamster, composition, notebook for kids. So if we go back to here, we chose an animal, which was a pet, which was the hamster. We also already had the book type, which was a composition notebook, and then we're doing it with kids. So a hamster, composition notebook for kids. Again, all of this is interchangeable, and you can come up with an endless amount of niches to create your books around. This hamster composition notebook for kids is just one niche out of thousands. So let's go back to here for a second. Let's choose a different one. Let's do a coloring book. So let's change this. Let's take this out. Let's go to here for the niche ideas. So we could do animals, food, sports, hobbies, or careers. Let's go with a career. Now let's think of a job. Nurse, doctor, teacher. These are all different types of careers. Let's take one of them. Let's do a nurse coloring book. And then who's it going to be for? We can either do women, men, mum, dads, boys, girls, toddlers, teens, kids, adults. So let's go back over to here. Nurse coloring book for, and look at this, auto populating adults and kids. So let's do an adult. And now we have the niche, a nurse coloring book for adult. Remember, all this is interchangeable. We went with coloring book, then we went with a career, and then we decided who we were going to target. And that's how we just found a nurse coloring book for adults. Let's put an S there, as we can see just here. So let's do one more example so you can really grasp this idea. Let's go with lists of sports. So let's scroll back up to the top, list of sports click enter and now we can go through all of this list here's just a small portion of different types of sports soccer basketball tennis baseball so let's go back over to amazon we can do another coloring book so let's take that away let's do a soccer which would actually be football here in the uk soccer coloring book who's it going to be for so we could do boys adults girls kids lots of different demographics that we could actually create that book around and that's just with soccer and that's for a coloring book but we could actually change the coloring book for a notebook look at that soccer notebook for coaching girls boys toddlers school kids we could change the notebook let's just do that again there we go we could change the notebook for a composition notebook composition notebook who's it for well it could be for kids boys girls or even school and again soccer is just one niche out of lots of different types of sports and composition notebooks is just one book type out of lots of other ones so again using this system using this way to actually niche down your niches you can come up with some really great ideas so again if you really struggle finding niches give this a go don't overcomplicate it and you're going to find some really really great niches now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.